Who's where I am now? Route 66, it's a very, very long road. But here at the moment, we're in Flagstaff, Arizona. And with me is Blake, and he's the man who does all the Segway tours. Blake, what's Segway, and what can we see in Flagstaff? Hi, thanks for coming. Segways are the goofy machines that everybody wants to ride, but nobody really has one. Come up here and you get a chance to ride one. Not only can you ride a Segway, you can see parts of the Grand Canyon, Route 66, Sedona, Las Vegas, Horseshoe Bend, everything that you've heard of, many things to check off your bucket list, all right in this area, and we have great advice. And how long has this community been established, Flagstaff? Flagstaff's been here for about 125 years. We have a very uh, big logging history, and then now we have uh, transitioned into welcoming guests of the Grand Canyon and visitors from all over the world. And isn't there a big movie industry going on around here? There's a huge movie history. Everybody's seen the movie Forrest Gump. Flagstaff's where he steps in the big pile of stuff to make the bumper sticker that stuff happens. Um, all the westerns were filmed right around this area. Um, the Hotel Monta Vista is one of the most haunted places in all of Arizona, and all the rooms are named after old actors and actresses that have stayed here over the years. Now, one of the other big must-sees is Lowell Observatory. Tell me very quickly about Lowell Observatory. Lowell Observatory has a phenomenal history in the astronomy community. Um, they have a great facility, it's a wonderful tour, and it's highly recommended for everybody. And what was the, very briefly, what was the incredible story you told us about the guy who borrowed, borrowed $10 million to build it? So the whole telescope was built almost sort of under a false pretense that there was life on Mars, based on a photo that was taken where an eyelash fell in between the viewfinder and the lens of the telescope with the camera, and so it was misinterpreted as an irrigation ditch. Uh, once they built the telescope, they realized that it was an eyelash, they, re they realized their mistake, and were just devastated. But then it saved the day because that telescope was used to discover the planet Pluto years later, and so it really rebounded the reputation. And then there's something called Riordan Mansions. What's that? Oh, the Riordan Mansion is a phenomenally cool mansion. It's, all, it's a whole log building um, where these two brothers, the first lumberjacks in the, in the area, um, built this big mansion, one for one and one for the other, and then connected the two so that then they could do community living and raise their children together and kind of have family meals and everything. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a very pretty uh, local materials uh, log cabin. Uh, um, probably an example of people who first came here and lived here. Oh yeah, the first pioneers that came through here, that was all they had. You have to keep think of, of what do you do if there's nobody here and there's nothing really to help you. And Flagstaff, the actual name of the town, is that something to do with where the irrigation was, the water supply, where the flag on the staff was? Oh, absolutely. When you traveled through the desert back in the day as a pioneer, um, your main question was, how do I find water because I don't want to die? Um, and we have springs in this area because there's a mountain. Uh, the geology, the, the volcanic activity makes it springs. Um, and so there was a, a group camped here July 4th, 1876. They raised a flag to commemorate 100 years of our independence from Great Britain. And uh, uh, they went along their way, they left, and then they left the flag here. So then it became a common question to people traveling along the road, where's the next stop for water? And they'd say, go until you get to the spring at the base. And finally, the please give us a plug for yourself. Where do people come for a Segway tour? What does it cost and where do we find out about you? The Grand Circle Outpost is located at 19 West Aspen Avenue. We proudly host AZ Segway and Pedal Tours. Uh, they're $89 uh, a tour. We see everywhere around the, the area. You're on the machine for about 90 minutes. It's about a two hour experience. Um, and Do you have we a website or a Facebook page that they should look at? Yeah, AZ Pedal Tours, AZ Segway Tours. It's all, Google it, and we're, we're everywhere online. Brilliant, thanks very much, Blake. So there we are, Route 66 folks, Northern Arizona, Flagstaff, enjoy.